Another case where we were able to find out more of a systemic harm uh, didn't involve a hospital. It actually involved an outpatient. Our client had gone in for a simple knee replacement surgery, and because of the way reimbursements work and, and other issues in healthcare, oftentimes the follow-up that patients have after surgery is not necessarily with the surgeon. This was a case where our client went back in, had a follow-up with someone who was not a physician and who was not completely aware of the different signs and symptoms of an infection. And because in that large uh, practice, they were unable to identify a number of things, including more subtle evidence of postoperative infection, as well as a mechanism to communicate that clearly back to the surgeon, an infection was allowed to not only be present, but to grow such that our client ultimately lost his leg. That was another case where they defended their conduct uh, vociferously and strongly. After a two-week trial, we uh, you know, were able to prove our case, and a verdict uh, in, in New Jersey was entered in favor of our client for a very substantial amount to make up for his harms and losses.